wanted it. You've got it. It's me, DJ Sticky, here to make you shake like a wee lad locked in a parochial house. First up, a big shout out to my main man, Stevie. Some of you will know that Stevie is in jail for something he didn't do. Of course, that something he didn't do was remember to put on his balaclava before robbing the post office. Hard luck, Stevie. See you in fair. And here is my great mate, a man you can't hate. The chicks love to date. You know him as Pablo! Stevie, 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 Stevie! Make her ching! Over the show tonight, we have got Radio 1 Hippie Doctor Stuart Flanagan. Wanker. We have got Country Bumpkin and Big Brother winner Josie Gibson. Word. Music from my live boudoir. From the Wonder Villains. Class. But first up, ladies and gentlemen, some music! Hey, Sorry I'm late, Jimmy Oliver was on. Here, Steve, you know what? Who do you think you are, Joe? Hi, the one where the celebs all start gurning because uh, someone they didn't know died years ago. Aye, uh, that's the one, right? Well, I've been tracing my family tree. Well, more of a stump, really. Is that because your ma doesn't know who your dad is? Aye, but using records from the clock clinic and her diary. I've narrowed it down. Your ma kept a diary? Well, when I say diary, it's more or less the phone numbers and positions. Some of these guys have got a star. Uh, they must have been good. The star's just not a position. Oh, uh, I was uh, wondering why it was brown. Any of the men in March 1990 could have been my dad. Jesus, there's loads. Well, you can't get pregnant for doing that. Uh, you can get arrested for doing that. Uh, that one will probably explain why she walks with that limp. Is that a picture of a goat? Pablo, if you get rid of all the men your mum did unnatural things with, you get left with just one respectable front door entry. Pablo, this phone number is your father. I'm phoning it. This is a touching moment. This has got to be real emotional. Here, get in the speakerphone so I can call your dad wanger. Hello. You're through to the parochial house. Unfortunately, Father McGimley isn't here right now. Please say Hail Mary after the beep. Holy shit! Exactly. This explains a lot. When I was a kid, I was always nervous around priests. All kids are nervous around priests. It's only good sense. Maybe it explains why my ma is so religious. Well, she's always on her knees, that's for sure. And like, see, when I was a kid, like, growing up, most nights in the house, I could hear my ma going, Jesus! Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus! Have you ever watched that Who Do You Think You Are stuff on the yeah. telly? Do you know refreshing though, right? When what? you see Jordan doing those shows like Who Do You Think You Are? Did mm -hmm. you realise there were thick people back in the day? <laughs> we hear the lips moving, cheese is that time already? Who we got first? Sure it's that cat watcher doctor from Radio 1. Right, our next guest is a doctor who's an expert in sexually transmitted infections. An area that Pablo's ma has done a fair bit of research on as well. <laughs> from Radio 1, please welcome Dr. Stuart Flanagan! Hey boys. Here comes Dr. Flanny. He likes to look at Flanny's. <laughs> Dr. Stu, what about you? Right, How's Stuart, it going, guys? It's Good a to great see privilege to have you here because, do you know what we were thinking? We may need your help sometime soon. Yes, exactly. Your Very precious soon. jewels may be in my hands at some point, so, you know, be nice to me. We Well, we, we will try. <laughs> so here, you're a doctor. Yes, I am. Do you know Dr. Qualified. Dre? Uh, Dr. Dre, yeah. He actually didn't go to my medical school, but I've heard about him, you know. I think he's got similar qualifications. Excellent. And, uh, he was a real doctor. And where about in London do you live then, Stuart? I live in Camden. 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 Yeah. Camden. Camden. That's where all the Irish people go, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Is that, is that where you pick up a lot of work there? It keeps boys? me in business, obviously, yeah. in sexual health. So, a lot yeah. of boys with... Uh, <laughs> You know, issues down there. A lot of issues down there. And it's, the problem is what the issue, obviously, and that's where I come in. Here, listen, is it true on your radio show that someone asked you if crisp packets can be used as a condom? Yes, that is true. And the answer, I know you guys probably want to know about this, is what no. Is? No? No. You see, I thought there would have been like some kind of hierarchy, right? Your kettle chips for the ladies yeah. and an old packet of potato for the filthy hoos. Well, I mean, you could use prong cocktail, I suppose, oh, you know. Yeah. Well, I suppose it would kind of, you know, the smell would remain the same, it would be consistent. <laughs> yeah. But salt and vinegar might be a little bit problematic right for the oil. Yeah. 
You're known for working with uh, what do you call her, uh, Sarah Cax on Radio One. Yes. Do you like Cax? I like Sarah. Yes. Right. <laughs> Would you be adverse to kissing Cax? Uh, I've not been known to at this stage, but you know, two, two things come up, obviously. So you go on the radio and you talk to teenagers about their private parts? Yes, I do. Your parents must be very proud. They are very proud of me indeed. It's, there's a lot of private work in sexual health, actually, and I obviously bet. there's lots of openings in sexual health. Ah! I've oh, been working nice. on that one for about six weeks. Nice one. <laughs> well done, Stu. <laughs> Have you guys ever had, you know, need to go to a sexual health clinic? No, definitely not, no. No, definitely not, no, no, never, never, No, that will clear up fine. Because, you know, I did want to give you some advice about things that might happen, you might right, be worried well, about. Okay, then, hypothetically speaking, okay. just say, uh, you have a friend, let's call him, um, Deaky, right? Deaky, yeah. Um, say one of his testicles, right, swole up to the size of a small grapefruit. Yeah. And the other one shrank the size of a peanut. Yep. Yeah. Just what say he do? that happened. Uh, then he de definitely need to get a checkup, and we probably need to give him a course of antibiotics. Right. So you know, but you know, in worst cases, sometimes we need to do surgery. And um, have you ever heard, for example, of a of a fractured penis? What? Yeah. Yeah. Can happen. Can Somebody, happen. you can break your your dick leg. Yep. You can do. I mean, I don't know if you, that's something that would ever happen to you guys, because you have to have sex for it to happen. So you know. <laughs> I don't know if it's no, necessarily Pablo, an issue. Pablo, calm down, calm down. He's a doctor. We may need his services. <laughs> the safe word is Battenberg. 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 Okay. That'll stall him off for okay. about two or three minutes. Jerry, so we can, uh, we can check it again. Thanks, so what, what were you saying then? You might have to operate? Yeah, if you have really rough sex, sometimes it can actually crack the penis and, oh. you know, all the blood spills out. Doesn't, it's not a good look. <laughs> Jesus! Right, okay, but just stay where you are, go nowhere, because we're just going to have a wee break for a nice piece of music. Yeah, I have heard tell that you were actually in a Doctor Who film. Uh, well, I was in one of the DVDs, yeah. Was it shit? <laughs> well, it was voted by Doctor Who fans as the worst DVD extra ever. Oh, so, yeah. man, man, sorry about that. <laughs> Being voted the worst by a bunch of losers like Doctor Who fans? That must <laughs> be pretty really embarrassing. It's not good. You know it's not good. Um, so you're at Radio 1 at the minute then, Stuart? Yep. Yes? Who's kind of, you know, who's nice to hang out with and who's a bit of a prick? Uh, well, Annie Mack is pretty cool. She went to Queen's in Belfast as well. That's right. Um, and Grimmy, he does the show with Annie Mac. Grimmy's the one that wears the NWT jeans, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. <laughs> Wagger. Happy. <laughs> and who's a bit of a who's a bit of a wab? Let's face it. Um, I, have, I would have to say the diplomatic answer would be everybody that I work with is really nice. I and who don't you work with then? Um, I don't work with Fern Cotton. Right. Wagger. See what he's saying there? He's reading reading between the lines. Probably you guys are a big fan of hers, are you? To be right, look at a Fern cat and I reckon she's as dirty as a bag of spuds. Would you agree? Uh, Fern has never been to my clinic, so I couldn't discuss those issues. She can afford better. Dr. Stu. Yeah. Is it true that here in Northern Ireland, and Belfast especially, there is a very high uh, incidence of teenage pregnancy? Yep, that is true. Actually, teenage pregnancy is quite high in Northern Ireland and it's something we're really worried about and that's why we're really encouraging people, you know, two things really. If you're going to have sex, make sure you use contraception like a condom or you don't have to have sex. I know that's a concept that's what? a sorry, bit crazy. Sorry, sorry, what? You don't have to have sex. I know. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> My brain's just melting. Have you, Dr. Stu, have you actually ever tried sex? <laughs> You'll know how good it is, how enhancing of the soul it is. If you are going to have sex, at least use a condom, not a crisp packet. Well, I suppose that is fair enough. Fair good, enough. good advice. Right, that's about all we have time for. Pablo, shoot him on out. Thank Ladies you. and gentlemen, Dr. Stuart Flanagan! Cheers, Bucko! Ray Stuart here, listen, cheers. Thanks for coming around, man. Nice to meet you. Here, here, here. So you can go back to Radio 1, right? Give that Fern Cotton one for me. All right, son? See ya. Nice. I gotta go. Wanger. And a big shout out to Gav, who's sad today, as his pet tortoise has died. Aww. But look on the bright side, Gav. You've lost a tortoise, but you've gained an ice tray.
Here, can I check something? Yeah, sure, what is it? Right, right, here we are, right? It's really funny, right? I mean, you find it funny, like when you see a bloke put a kitten into a catapult, right? Set it on fire, and then fire it towards an orphanage, right? You'd laugh, you'd laugh, you saw that, right? What? No! That would be the most awful thing ever! Right. Of course, that wouldn't be funny at all. Unless you mate, don't look up my name on YouTube for a while, alright? And now on to the mystery quiz, where our caller has two minutes to guess our mystery item. Once more, we're playing with returning champion, Giles. Giles, are you ready? Ready! Your time starts... It's something you need to live. Um, is it oxygen? No, it's something that makes you smile. Oh right, um, did this item write the Chesney Hawk song, the one and only and become famous for wearing snood? It's not Nick Kershaw, no. Uh, what would happen if I put this item in my mouth? You'd become way more attractive to women and suddenly be able to solve all the world's political problems of the day. Um, did it appear in a video with 300 German men in a bouncy castle? No, it's not my ma. Would I take this item to a desert island? You would if you wanted to get laid. Almost out of time here, Jez. Uh, is it a pint of lager? Boss, how do you do that? Ha uh ha. -huh. Still to come, we have big brother Queen Josie Gibson and music from the Wonder Villains. But before I let... A music track. Red sauce with burgers? No. Brown sauce pasty bop. Did you say red sauce with a burger? Yeah. Man. Red yeah. sauce on Get a burger? Get out of the car. What? Get you have brown car. sauce on a burger. The lights are red. Get out of the car. Come on. Right, you order a cheeseburger, you get, get brown car. sauce. No! What would you have on a cheeseburger? Mayonnaise! Man. No! Mayonnaise. mayonnaise on a chicken burger? Mayonnaise on a chicken burger and any of the burger no. family. Gotta go to my granny's funeral this weekend. Oh, man, is she dead? Gone. But not forgotten. Right, you'll be wanting to borrow my formal tracksuit then? I will. I'd just like to make a quick apology for last week. Apparently, I really, 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 really should not have used that word about Barack Obama. But we heard it in a rap video and we thought it was okay for anyone to say it. Well, here's your lift going. Here, Joey, this is, right? Who's this, mate? It's a band I booked. Oh, man. They, uh, they've been on TV a few times, right? Oh, the American it's... series. They've played at Glasgow Barry. They've been on the radio. Uh, and they're apparently they're from a place called London Derry. They're it... called the Wonder Villains. It's not then Oasis or Kasabian like I asked you to book? No. Was there some kind of a problem with the booking? We were slightly shy on the money front. Right, okay, bring them in. Wonder villains! Yo. How are you? Good. Isn't it great to have an old girl band on the floor? <laughs> yes, yeah, four oh. lovely, beautiful young ladies. How are you doing? <gasps> Happy great. days. Great. Is it true that you like to write songs about like television and most of your songs is about TV? Pure true. We're working on a song with you guys at the moment. Yeah. What sort of TV do you write about? Ah, all my classics, Lost Heroes. Here, Steve, yeah. listen to their voices. The usual. Yeah, bubbly, 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 get that hair, get that cat out of that chair! Get that Don't they talk great? Right, so tell us the name of the song you're going to do for us. It's called Space Jam, about the classic film Space Jam. Yeah. That is one of the top three best films of all time, as well as Street Fighter and Cobra. Uh -huh. Right, if you don't mind making your way to the boudoir and get set up for the tune. Right here, thank you very much. Thank you, Wonder Villains. Bye. And here, you better be good. For 50 quid, we could have got Wagner. <laughs> Wires. <laughs> See what we had the weekend? Ended up at a Ravenhill at a rugby match. You went there rugby? Yes. <laughs> I know. Mate, it was awful. It was pure shite. And my God, you wouldn't believe it. See the way, right, if we were at the match, right? Right. And it's all like, Get on him, kill him, go and break his legs! Referee, you bastard! Uh, all that there? Eh. None of that. What do you mean? It's all like, I say, Johnny, spin it out, spin it out to the wing, spin it out to the wing. Go on, Mark, chase him, after him, Mark, get in there, heave! Really boring, and their songs are absolutely crap. Do you, right, do you know what the, the main Ulster chant is, right? What? Ulster. Oh, it sounds like a farting goose. It is the gayest sport I've ever seen. Even the shape of the balls, it's shaped like a testicle. They love it. They do, and then they all get in the shower afterwards and rub each other down. 
I say, Johnny, well played. Well played, Johnny. Well, we have Ooh. to get the mud off somehow. Well played. Look at that. Oh, there's a little bit there. You missed a bit. Let me get out that for you. Oh, how's that? Their, uh, their shorts are awfully tight, aren't they? Oh, they have. They've got huge, big, massive, big thighs. And arses. Massive, big buttocks. Big, manly, big, beefy buttocks. As my uncle used to say, there's no greater joy than a big arse boy. He was in the Navy, wasn't he? Then jail, yeah. Yes. Well, here's about that time. It's time for our next guest. Oh, another one? Aye. Right, well, who is it this time? It's your woman from Bristol. Right, our next guest claims that she goes for a man who treat her mean. Well, then, I'm your man. Get out of that lift, you sexy buckbag! Yeah. Josie Gibson! Yeah! Oh. <laughs> Hello, my lovely. All right, love. Sit yourself down there, love. Oh, my lovely. Thank you very much. I let your pussy. Oh, thank you very much. What is that in your head? Have you got a dead rodent on your head? No, this is my new app. It's all about your the new, animal acts. Your new app? Yeah. It's very fetching, I like it. It's nice and warm for the winter. Yes, here's Diggy. Diggy. Yeah. Diggy, man. What, mate? What, mate? Is she foreign? She is I can't indeed. understand she, where she is. She's from Bristol. Bristolian. Bristol. She's Bristolian. a Bristolian. And apparently, one of your hobbies is riding horses. Do you uh, like having big things between your legs? <laughs> Pablo! Do you answer the question, no? <laughs> so dive. <dying. laughs> What's the largest thing you've ever ridden? <laughs> you two are really naughty. We are a bit. I know, sorry about that. I love sorry it. That. You should be punishing us. Oh. Vigorously. <laughs> Vigorously and repeatedly. Josie, we have seen you on the cover of various magazines. And oh, right. I, I just wanted to inquire, when can we see you on the cover of Razzle? Razzle? Yeah. What's that? It's, uh, a, it's a men's specialist interest magazine. What do they specialise in? Tits. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, um, I can't get my babbers out just yet, can I? Why not? Um, well, I haven't really got the babbers to get out, really. Uh, oh, contraire, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you sorry, 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 sorry. I was not looking at nothing. <laughs> Josie, can I say that one of my favourite moments of your stay in the Big Brother house wasn't just the kind of glimpse at your body? But that story you told about that unfortunate, and it was a heartwarming story, that unfortunate woman who had her face eaten off by a chimpanzee. <laughs> I know, that. I bet that woman bloody hates me now. Because I brought it all up in the open again, and you know, that was... It, it was done, dusted in the past, and I brought it all up, so I bet she hates me now, but... I laughed my bollocks off. <laughs> I thought it was class. Right, don't you go anywhere. We're just going to take a wee quick break for a piece of music. Is that that bird that was going off with your man, the Aussie boy? Yep. You would as well. Uh, I don't know about that. What do you call an Australian with a bottle of champagne? Don't know. The waiter. <laughs> <laughs> Josie, whenever you want Big Brother, is it true you give like 20 grand away to charity? Uh, it's a clip, yeah. Cancer and leukemia in children. Fair play. Thank you. What, 20 grand? I would have bought you like a lot of drugs. <laughs> And a chocolate fountain. You've got a brilliant big chocolate oh, fountain. Amazing chocolate fountain with like uh, marshmallows and stuff on sticks, and it, strawberries and stuff. I know, but it's gone to a good cause. Yeah. A real good cause. I love that in a woman, a good tender heart. Oh, I bet you do. Having a great set of norks doesn't go too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Is it true that you have a scent on the market? I do, yeah. I've got a perfume wow. called Josie, yeah. Called it Josie. smells super lush, yeah. And you're giving some of that to charity as well, right? Yeah, pound goes to um, a women's cancer charity. So when they um, go and have all their chemotherapy and their radiotherapy, it sends beauticians round to their house and it supplies them with wigs and um, makeup days and, and um, you know, um, like beauty products and things like that just to perk them up. So if we were to launch our own, say, Pablo and Sticky scent, how would you think we should uh, go about doing that? Um, I would say you could have like a, a posh spice and David Beckham one, but like a like a gay posh spice and David Beckham one, you know. What are, what are you? No, what I are do you not know. What are you implicating? Because they, they've had like a couple, like a, um, a husband and wife perfume, but they've never had a gay couple perfume. But we're so not I the man for that couple, job. I assure I, you. I think you're misunderstanding the nature of our relationship. <laughs> I've just seen you touch his wanger about five times. Under you that did, desk. I can't help it. 
It, it keeps knocking purely... against me. It's like a python. <laughs> I love you. I think you're class. I love you. You can come around and stay in my spare room anytime. You don't have a spare room. You don't even have a room. You tip on my sofa. <laughs> anytime. Josie, thank you very much for your thank time. It's been lovely to meet you. Cheers. Thank you. Can I get a little kiss before you go? Yeah. Thank you. I love you. See you later, Pablo. Nice to meet you, mate. See Pablo, you later. show the young lady out. With pleasure. Love you. And you. <laughs> Josie Gibson there. Josie and her fiancé claim to use JLS condoms. Who would have thought? Members of a boy band touching men's penises. Well, Josie, it was great to meet you. It was a pity John James couldn't come over, you know what I mean? Could have met him as well and all that, you know? Um, yeah, yeah, well, i I got to go now, Pablo, so it's really nice to meet you, mate. Tell you what, if it doesn't work out, please give, give us a wee ring. Suck your what? If it doesn't work out with oh, John, give us a ring. disgusting. Right, I've got to go. Bye. Nice. Bye. <laughs> I'd buck her till her teeth rattle. Maybe he kisses his ma with that mouth. Probably kisses other people's ma's with that mouth. Ah, the lovely, lovely, lovely Juicy. I am now very, very happy. Well, I'm sorry to pish on your chips, as it were, Steaks, but we have a very sad shout out now to Dave. Unfortunately, Dave's just got the all clear from his cancer specialist. Yeah, but why is that a sad shout out, Pablo? Which going to lose his DLA payments, isn't he? Oh, that is harsh, actually. Pablo, my producer, where are we for now? Right, do you remember that band we seen and was talking to earlier on from Derry? Yes. Right, they're going to perform in the boudoir. In, the, in my bedroom? Yes. You better not make a mess, and they, they better probably not check under the bed. <laughs> it's the Wonder Villains! <laughs>
Well, earlier tonight, Northern Ireland took on the Faroe Islands at Windsor Park in their Group C Euro 2012 qualifier. If you don't know the results, you can catch the highlights here on BBC Two, now at the later than build time of 11.35. Is your money better now? Uh, she's nearly off of crutches, which means the benefits will be reduced. Ooh, hard luck there, mate. Yeah, well, maybe something will turn up. 